Hi folks, Don Bailey from Suburban Tool, and we're going to talk about our radius dresser, but it's not just a radius dresser, it's a radius and a tangent dresser, and I'll explain to you what that means in just a moment. But first of all, I want to talk about the features of the radius dresser. Uh, this dresser has been around for a lot of years. It's now a part of Suburban's product line, and we're very proud to say that we make this in-house. And uh, I want to show you some of the uh, advantages of this particular dresser and why you should consider it uh, for your tool room needs. For example, if you want to set a radius uh, positive or negative, or that is for a, a convex or a converse radius, that's easy enough to do by adjusting the height of this uh, arm and the diamond. But first I want to focus a little bit on some of the features. The radius dresser can be set within uh, degrees and minutes with this vernier that's right here on the top. There's a stop here so if you want to set a tangent going off to one side the adjusting uh, cap screws are right here and you can set it or you can also remove the stop so you can go past your setting and it also has the ability to provide you with a tangent, uh, as I mentioned, which means you can go to one side like this, pulling the lever out and moving in a outward position. So in this case, if we want to set a one inch radius, which I'm going to show you how we did that already, we've already set the diamond to save time. But it's set for a one inch radius, and from that one inch radius, we want to go to a, a 45 degree tangent. Well, that's how we would dress our wheel. This is a wheel that has a 45 degree angle set on it. It doesn't have a one inch radius at the bottom, but you'll get the idea. This is 45 degrees on each side. So that's exactly how we would set the tool, uh, the last word radius dresser, to dress a tangent. Now, to set the one inch, I'm going to, or the, the one inch uh, radius, I'm going to show you how we did that. We took the two inch gauge block and we're going to set a parallel on here. Why the parallel? Just to set it onto the diamond. Then we're going to run an indicator across the parallel to make sure that it's set at zero as we go across there. Well, that's off just a smidget, so we can tap that in. But right now, and I want to remind you about having good, clean uh, habits working with a surface plate. So we've got this set on zero, and we're going to adjust our diamond just a little bit because we're off a couple of thousands. So in this case, it needs to go up. And there's two ways to do it. We can do it by moving this arm up and down, or we can do it by loosening the set screw here where the diamond is and move the diamond up and down. So that's how we would set it for a one inch radius. If you have any questions on that, please give us a call at Suburban Tool or go on our website at subtool.com. Glad to help you. Ask for Tim Allen, he's the president of the company, or ask for Jim Curlick, he'll be glad to help you as well. Thanks for watching, guys.